Hi, this is Oscar Kawan, Tango Romeo India and today I want to show you my three cases I have built recently. In the middle here you see my main case. It um, consists of the Xygo G90 shortwave uh, transceiver, a TYT 9800 quad band receiver, and both uh, transceivers uh, have a digital interface which I have uh, mounted here. So uh, KW stands for Kurzwelle in German which is, which is the short wave and this is the TYT for DHF, UHF. So both um, Transceivers are capable of digital modes um, uh, like um, FT8 or also uh, Windlink communications via VARA, for example. Yeah, uh, you see here in the middle there's a signal link USB modem which is connected to the uh, TYT transceiver. Uh, as you may know, this doesn't have a USB interface, so the signal link just grabs the audio interface of uh, that transceiver. Yeah, uh, this uh, device here, um, also from the same company as the signal link, Tigertronics, this is uh, simply a switch where you can switch the uh, microphone between uh, actually the uh, voice operation and the uh, USB uh, audio interface. Yeah, for the uh, G90 that's fairly simple. I have the connection cable here. So if I want to do digital modes, I simply have to plug, plug it in here. Uh, it's not always plugged in because the G90 doesn't like it very much when you boot it up with the interface plugged in. Yeah, what else do we have here? Here we have the two um, antenna connectors for uh, UHF, uh, VHF and uh, HF on this side. Uh, there are two speakers here for both of the radios. Um, there is a battery monitor here and this here is um, a, a thermometer to control the temperature inside. There's also a switch here for a light which is built in as well and another switch for uh, two fans yeah 12 volt fans in case the temperature gets too high i can control it quite well with those two fans yeah um what else do we have here there's a, a charging port so i can charge 230 volts here to charge the batteries inside there is uh, a USB charging port here and a 12 volts car plug here. At the back side, yeah, I can uh, also take power or charge the case with a power pole plug. Yeah, this is a bit, uh, bit much, I would say. Originally I thought I would mount here um, some kind of computer screen or a Raspberry Pi display or anything like that. But I, yeah, due to my experience, I figured out that I usually uh, will use my notebook anyway to use digital modes. Yeah, so this is the uh, the main case. Yeah, uh, regarding uh, battery power, it includes two 
uh, lithium uh, ion batteries with a total capacity of 20 amp hours inside um, yeah well, if you want to look inside uh, there's a lot of air space in there uh, but um, I come to that a bit later when I show you my smaller boxes uh, I wanted to build a box which is large enough that I can fit everything really comfortable in that big one also um, this uh, is the only box I found with that size which has uh, backpack straps as well so with that box I can uh, simply close it and just show you that and take it on the back straps I have a smaller bag here which will be uh, mounted here which includes uh, a shortwave antenna cables and so on so basically with that box I yeah I can go on the bicycle or walk or whatever I need to do um, yeah it's ready to go and it includes basically everything yeah um, this box here is the first one I built really uh, it is really nothing special it includes two handheld uh, radios and an anytone radio uh, on the left which is also connected to a signal link modem with that signal link I'm able to connect it to the notebook here so uh, with that I have the ability to uh, connect uh, to Windlink via Vara FM yeah and this one uh, these Hytera handhelds um, these ones are used uh, by, our, by our emergency communications team this is our, our standard handheld so basically uh, this case um, uh, is just a charger more or less for the handheld devices it includes a 10 amp hour battery here um, which charges the two handhelds and the signal link modem to be able to um, connect to Windlink via Vara FM so this is a really very simple box I would say this is the most basic setup yeah I have got a, a USB charger here as well and um, a power pole cable to charge the battery so that is a very simple setup really yeah and here the third case now I built this for my holiday home um, previously I just had in my holiday home I had the G, G90 uh, just standing around and because I love building these kinds of cases I thought yeah well let's build a case also for the holiday home so it's all uh, nicely uh, put together and it also includes a um, 10 amp hour uh, lithium ion battery uh, this one is a left over um, an anytone 578 dmr vhf uhf transceiver and yeah it was a bit for me a uh, bit of how to say a bit of a challenge I wanted to uh, wanted to prove that in a small box like that I could fit in um, an HF as well as a VHF UHF transceiver yeah and yeah it worked out 
Um, yeah, I can switch on and off uh, the power button here. I have um, a charging uh, a charging switch here. There is uh, a 230 volts plug here, plug here, and inside there is a, a charger as well. Uh, so if I plug in here the charger, I can uh, switch on and off uh, the charging. Uh, also, there is a fan here built in, uh, so I can control the temperature inside. Only the Xygo G90 here has a data connection, so I can do some FT8 or VARA HF on my holiday, holiday QTH. Yeah, so uh, that's a very simple setup. I put up some antennas here just for the demonstration reasons, because especially the DMR uh, transceiver also transmits without um, pushing the PTD button sometimes just to, to, just to do the APRS. So just in case uh, not to ruin the transceiver, I put an antenna here. Yeah, um, these are my three cases. I love building those. And um, thank you for watching.